Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, April the 22nd. Valerie Livingston is over here, seven and a half feet away from me. We both had our shots, but we're still social distancing there. We are. Safety um, safety first. Yep. Yeah. So how are things going with the Boys and Girls Club? I hope a little bit better than the last time you were here. Yes, better. We can see light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. It's so exciting. Um, and surprisingly, uh, we looked at all of our data from 2020, and despite all of the COVID pandemic challenges, we ended up serving 583 kids. Mm, that's a lot, through, isn't it? Through all of the on and off but how did that compare how did that compare to a normal year yes about half what it would be in a normal year but the fact that we were in person since june supporting family supporting parents supporting learning we still have our day pod program open so kids are still um, coming to the club every day Um, we expanded our hours to 11 hours a day so that we can provide academic support for children that are doing their virtual learning still so how are you how are you handling this with the kids that are coming into the club now, you have to do social distancing. Yes, we have stable groups and they wear of masks. staff, and they have to wear masks. And then, of course, we encourage social distancing. Children, it's a little harder. Right, because kids <laughs> kids want to come up and run up to you and hug you, and they want to play with the other kids yes. and hug. Yes, you know, they long for affection. Of course. They. So how do you... How do you handle that you know our our mental health team has done a tremendous job we have two full-time licensed clinical social workers and a mental health program to address all of the anxiety and stress and unnormalcy of the world that these kids are living in now do most of the kids understand what has happened and what is happening right now and why it's important that we can't touch each other for yeah. the time being. I, I think they understand now why, but it doesn't help with their behaviors. Um, right now, what we see kids is they have so much anxiety and stress because of virtual learning and because they're so out of routine for such an extended amount of time that they just have a lot of behavior management problems. They It's hard for them to get back in routine. And, and now that they're going back to school, um, you know, it, it's a big shock from being out of school to going back to school, from being at home all this time and then getting into a classroom structure so mm-hmm. it's going to take a couple years for these kids to yeah. get back to pre-covid normalcy but really our rally cry right now is academic support we're very concerned with our school district and our kids in columbia being out of school and, and trying to do virtual learning because it didn't work really well with the elementary kids because they couldn't read they didn't have the focus and attention to sit in front of a screen for several hours a day you know they're just their their attention span was all over the place. So, you know, research is now saying that these elementary kids and some middle school kids even are going to be behind five, 10 months of what the normal curriculum is. And not just the curriculum, but also the social interacting yes. with with the teachers, social interacting with other kids yes. in the classroom and on the playground. Mm-hmm. We don't stop and think about it that much but their little minds are in that formative stage Mm -hmm. right now. And uh, what was missing for a year or so, it's gone. Right. It's gone now. And and it's going to be a a recovery period. Uh, You know, we call it learning recovery. Um, And and as a nonprofit, we we did lose over half a million dollars. And we we need to serve more kids now. So not only do we need to secure that lost money, we need to secure additional funds. We're going to expand our summer program. We've aligned with the school district to be able to serve more kids and provide more academic tutoring, homework, literacy, STEM, um, to do our part as to be part of the solution to help the school district kids get back on track. So where's this money going to come from? Well, hopefully it's going to come from our community. 
Um, you know, we would love for the community to uh, set up monthly giving. We have a PayPal on our website that you can go and sign up for $10 a month, $20 a month. That allows us to hire certified teachers to come in and tutor, academically tutor these kids to help them get back on track. Yeah. Will you have uh, any special grants available to you? Yes, we continue to write grants, but, you know, we lost a lot of grant funding. The government redirected a lot of that funding because of COVID, and it really negatively impacted nonprofits. Yeah, and so we haven't so had any in-person fundraising events right, for the last year right. either. So, so, many, so many things have changed, but so you're, you're depending on the community. You're asking the community. And, you know, the thing is, the folks in our area, my goodness, there's, there's so many wonderful organizations that need help and i think people have been giving as much as they can afford to right. give right because there's i mean there, there's folks everybody out there. needs help yeah that, yes yeah but we think monthly giving is easy you know ten dollars a month that's something really easy you could probably cut out of your grocery account can you or, set you that know. you can set that up on the, yeah, on your website on our website okay yeah, so, to make it easy and simple every dollar counts so give some thought to it. You can go to www.bgc-columbia.org. And if you can see it, try to work it out in your budget. And like what you said, if you do it on a monthly giving of 5 or $10 yeah. a month. It's a bag of chips. Or right. it's a soda. You know, it, 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 some small sacrifices can go a long way right now okay. with, with what we're trying to help kids. And, and 5 or $10 a month would make a big, big difference to the Boys and Girls Club. Yes. If enough people, if enough people out there decide, okay, I'm, you know what? I'll put $5 a month aside. And, and you don't even have to put it aside. Just set it up to automatically yep. charge it on your credit yep. card, right? Yep. Um, yep. It's that simple. And, then, and it's secure. And it's you can change website. it at any time you want. Yep. All right. Yep. So again, what is what are you looking forward to as far as the positive changes coming up this summer and this fall? Well, obviously, getting more kids together. Um, and the social interaction that you mentioned, kids want to have fun. They want to be together. They need to have happiness in their life now and to help deal with anxiety and stress. The more enrichment programs, you know, having sports coming back into their life and channeling all that energy and mm, excitement mm -hmm. into sports programs. We're even starting a new golf program uh, this summer to get kids out golfing, you know, more outdoor activities yeah. for them. But all of that takes time, treasure, and money. It, I do <laughs> hope it works out because socialization is so very important. And when when we're young, it shapes us for the rest of our life. It does. Yeah. And we got to get these kids back on track ac academically. We've got to okay. get them caught up. Yeah, Valerie, thank you so much for what you do and continued success. I know you've got a big job ahead of you this year, but go to www.bgc-columbia.org. That's the Boys and Girls Club of Columbia. You can set up a, a monthly or bi-monthly donation, whatever you yep. feel that you can afford. Okay? Out of time for today. If there's something you'd like to hear or see, please let me know. Pepper P, Missouri.edu, and wear the mask, but smile underneath. Bye-bye.